Hello, welcome to JCK TV. I am unique of us. Today on first segment, we will be discussing about one of our African countries known as Abazonia. Abazonia is the former Britain Southern Cameroon. And today it is called Abazonia. Today, to talk about Ambazonia, we have Mr. Paul in the studio. He will be telling us about Ambazonia. Mr. Paul, how are you doing? Welcome to the studio. Uh, thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to say hi to our viewers out there. Uh, hi to the viewers of this wonderful TV, Jessica TV. I'm uh, very much honored and it's a privilege to be here today at your studio. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, first of all, you talking? We're talking about Ambazonia today. What is Ambazonia, and who are Ambazonians? Uh, it's a, it has a, a long and a short story. Okay. Yeah, so I'll I'll make it short. The whole history of Ambazonia started in 19, on the twenty first of uh, April, nineteen sixty one, in the United Nations. Under the chapter 1608, where Ambazonia, where the former British Southern Cameroon was granted her independence. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, when this particular chapter left the United Nations, coming down to the ground, it was not the same. It was no longer independent as it was voted in the United Nations General Assembly. Okay. It was now given with the condition. What? Because the former British Southern Cameroon was a trust territory uh, yeah. the, in the United, the United Nations, and by the British, because we have the uh, La Republic de Cameroon, which got her independence on the 1st of January 1960, and we have the former British, the British Southern Cameroon, which got her independence on the 1st of October, 1961. Wow. But it was given the condition. Oh, wow. That you either gain independence by joining the Federal Republic of Nigeria yeah. or joining La Republic de Cameroon. Wow. Joining the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. And for these Ambazonians, um, what is the relationship, the real relationship that join, that makes you leave um, Cameroon, they want you to leave Cameroon because we know that Ambazonians are part of former Cameroons. Yeah, it is now, it is, we call it failed decolonization. Okay, yeah, they call, we, we call it failed decolonization. Instead of us being decolonized, that means granted independence, yeah. we were recolonized by another country, we were handed to another country as a colony to that country. Which, which country is this? La Republic de Cameroon. La Republic de Cameroon. Yeah. Which is popularly known as Cameroon today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, La, Re La, Re La, Republic de La Republic de Cameroon has not granted the Ambazonians their independence. That is why the Ambazonians are fighting for their independence today. No, it is not La Republic that will grant us our independence. Okay. No. It is the ratification of this United Nations Charter. Okay, 1608. Okay, which was which was passed on the 21st of uh, April 1961. Okay, so we want the United Nations to respect that particular chapter. Okay, it means granting the people of Southern Cameroon have full independence. Wow. Well, this has a lot of stories, and today, now, we'll be going on a short commercial break. As soon as we come back, we'll have a full load package of this issue about the Ambazonians and the former, the former Southern Cameroon. I am unique of us. We go on a short commercial break on JCK TV. <laughs> Welcome back to JCK TV. We just come back from our commercial break, and... We still have Mr. Paul in the house. Mr. Paul, uh, my question to you now, what is the conference? What is really causing this problem in Abazonia today between the Cameroon and the Abazonia? What is causing this real problem? Yeah. Uh, in, on the 1st of October 1961, okay. uh, we were granted, granted independence. Yeah. 
by joining the Republic of Cameroon. And I want you to understand that we have the North, North Cameroon and the Southern Cameroon. The Northern Cameroon and the Southern Cameroon. The Northern Cameroon decided in that plebiscy to join the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the Southern Cameroon decided to join the Republic of Cameroon. Now, it was under a, a condition that these two, it will be under a federal system that the, the uh, British, the former British Southern Cameroon and the Republic, the two of them will come together under a federal system, a federal structure. Okay. That was what it was agreed in the constitution. And it was written in that constitution that on no condition should the federal structure be amended. Okay. But when this riot started, from 1961, uh, we had the then president, may he so rest in peace, Amadou Aijo, and we had Foncha as the, 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 the prime minister. Yeah, we had Foncha as the prime minister. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, it, it, the, 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 the whole coup d'etat started in nine, on the 20th of May, 1972. Okay. The federal structure was abolished in a, I, I don't know how I can tell that uh, a referendum, in a, 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 how, how do I put that type of a referendum? A, 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 I don't have a term for that. Okay. okay. A referendum was conducted. Well, wow. so and and, and it, it, the federal structure was 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 break down. And now it from the Federal Republic of Cameroon, it went down now to La, uh, the United Republic of Cameroon. Okay. Now becoming the United Republic of Cameroon, it is basically now a country structure on its own. That is it. Now, now you, the United Republic, it means the federal structures have been abolished. Now, what was the excuse that Amadou Ejo uh, brought? That the federal system is so expensive to run. That the federal government is so expensive to run. Now, the United Structure now, it became a hyper-centralized system where everything is decided in Yaoundé. Okay, can, can I have a short question there? Yeah. Um, today, Cameroon, do they run the military system of government or do they run democrat, the democracy? Mm, it's a disguised democracy. Why do you say so, sir? Yeah, because of what is happening now. Okay. Like, like, like I have to explain to you, now from, from 1972, everything now is decided in Yaoundé. We had a federal government, we had the House of Chiefs, we had a, a, a federal assembly in Boya. Boya. All of these things were abolished. The government of Gondwa was was brought down. Okay. Was destroyed. Wow. By the then president Amadou Aijo. Now everything was directed to Yaoundé. Every single decision came from Yaoundé. Okay. It was Yaoundé. It is Yaoundé that decides everything. And it did not only end there. When Mr. Kobia took power in 1984, okay. yeah, he took power in 1982. But this name again was changed from the United Republic of Cameroon to La Republic de Cameroon now, in 1984. The name was changed from 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 the United the Republic, Republic of Cameroon, Cameroon to, to La Republic, Republic de Cameroon. Now it will retain again. That is it. It came now finally. It means. The former British Southern Cameroon that was attached to, to like, has no, it, it, it has now become part, not an entity. It has now become a, a, a part and parcel of La Republic. It means they are federal, they are right as a country, as a people, have been, they have surrendered that to La Republic. Wow. So, so it, it they now become a, not a colony under La Republic. Okay. And my question now. The people of Ambazonia today, which we are the south of the former southern British Southern Cameroon, Cameroon, how are they treated today? How are they treated in Cameroon today? Uh, it's we are not even we are a, a, a second class. We are treated as second class citizens. Second class, citizens. yeah, second class. That is why we are where we are today. 
Okay. Now, but they give the impression to the world that it's a language problem. They give it to the world that it's a cultural problem. No, it is not a language problem. It's not a problem between the English and the French. No, it is a problem of failed decolonization. That is why we are calling on the United Nations to come and respect the, the chapter 1608. Okay. So they should, they should. Because as I am talking, we are having a full-scale genocide going on. Wow. And if I have to tell you now, how did this genocide, how did this, how, how did we came, how did we arrive to where we are? It started in uh, early October. What year? 2016. You know, in Cameroon, we have two, we, when we came together, we had two, uh, educational, two different systems, two educational systems, okay. sub uh, educational system. We have uh, two judicial system. Okay. We have the common law, which is the British Southern Cameroon system, yeah. and we have the civil law, which is La Republic of the Cameroon. Yeah. Now we have the two sub systems of education. Now, when we talk of the two. Uh, uh, the two, the judicial system. Under the common law, like you know, normal common law is you are innocent until proven guilty. Of course. But with, the, with the civil law, you are guilty of the proven innocent. Yeah. Now, can you imagine that we are part of a country? Our law system is not represented at the level of the Supreme Court. It means the common law does not have a bench at the Supreme Court. Uh, that, that, that is the Ambazonian law. The, the common law. law of the British Southern Cameroons, yeah. or of the English system, okay, is not a. Okay, no, no, no. I, I, I get something clear. Yeah, the English part of Cameroon, uh, and the, and the French speaking side of Cameroon, does not have the same constitution. Before 1961. Before 1961, does not have the same constitution. Yeah. After 1961, when they become together, from 1961 when they came together, yeah. they, they operated as two federal system. Why, if they are one country, why do they operate into? No, they, are, they were not two. They were not. They have never been one country. It has always been two separate countries. That is why I said, I go back to it again. Okay. La Republic de Cameroon had her independence on the first of January 1960. Okay. And the former British Southern Cameroon, which is Ambazonia, had her own independence on the 1st of October 1961. On the 1st of January 1960, La Republic had her independence. 1st of January 1960. 1960. And we had our own independence on the 1st of October 1961. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This in these two years we, we have we, we can see we only have one year in server. Yeah. And who gave the the, the who, are, who gave them the independence with the, the Amazonians get the independence from the Cameroons yeah. or they get the independence from the United from Nations. The United Nations. From, the United Nations. from the United Nations. Why have the United Nations not um, proven the the just said the there was, law? That, there was an international conspiracy. When this independence, when this chapter left the United Nations, I explained it earlier. How do we prove this? Yeah, because when it came down, for this independence to be handed to the people, it was handed in a condition. What that is, is where we are today. What is this condition? You will be granted independence by joining the Federal Republic of Nigeria or the Republic of Cameroon. Oh. So, why, why are Abazunians, why have they not decided which of the countries are they going to support? Is it the uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria we, or, or the Federal Republic of uh, the La Republic of Cameroon? Part of uh, the Northern Cameroons voted in that plebiscite mm -hmm. on the 11th of February 1961. They voted in the plebiscite. They said, "Okay, we will join uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria." Okay. Why the Southern Cameroons, which is the Federal Republic of Amazonia today, decided to join? La Republic de Cameroon. Mm. If if they decided to join La Republic of Cameroon, 
Why are they uh, fighting for their freedom? That is why I am explaining today. That is why. I'm if, if, that if they decided to be out yeah. to be, be yeah. in the palace of Cameroon, yeah. why are they fighting for freedom? Yeah, because certain uh, aspect of this union yeah. was not were never respected. Oh, what, what, are, what, what are those aspects that are not respected? The fact we, we came together. There was one. There was no treaty of union. When two nations come together. They must sign something what they call the Treaty of Union. Yeah. It means two states have come together, two nations have come together. Yeah. But up to today, there is no Treaty of Union. Uh, there's no Union uh, Treaty between La Republic de Cameroon and Southern Cameroon. Yeah. So, which makes us uh, in an independent nation. On paper, we are an independent nation. On paper? Yes. The, can, can we get some proof to those documents? Yeah, that? because there is no uh, union treaty between the two the two nations. We were voted, uh, uh, our independence was voted in the United Nations. Okay. So there is no there is no uh, binding document between the Republic and uh, and the former British and Cameroon. By, uh, by, by constitution, as the United Nations granted Ambazonians freedom, yeah, on the paper. On the paper, yeah, if, that's why I put this chapter to you. If if if, if the United Nations has granted Ambazonians freedom by document or by paper, why has uh, the the, um, the Cameroon not given them the total freedom? It is not Cameroon to give us our independence. Why we, all, we already have our independence? Okay, if we, we, job, we what we are fighting for now is the restoration of that independence. Okay, why? If, if, okay, sorry. If, if this um, independence was granted to you people by the United Nations, why why is it not restored? It is an international conspiracy. I repeat the statement again. It's an international conspiracy with the with the help of France, because France is the is France is the godfather of La Republic. Uh, uh, sorry. France has a. Uh, uh, a secret economic treaty, economic treaty with the Republic. Uh, uh, sorry, yes. we cannot really uh, mention some international countries' name because it's a live program. Uh, we have to be very careful on some international uh, countries and say that communities' name we mention. You know, when you are when you are speaking history, you don't you don't you don't have to avoid names when you are talking history. Yeah, we have to smart. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't understand. We, we don't understand. Have, we don't have to. We understand yeah. because these uh, these uh, countries are, are are countries of their own in places, so we have to be. Key. So we have to be very careful about this. So uh, we have been watching uh, some videos in Cameroon, and we we see the killings every day, the bomb blasts, and the people dying every day, the massacre in the La Republic, Cameroon, and the Amazonia. So what is the cost of all this? Like I said, it started in uh, early October 2016 when the lawyers, uh, joined by the teachers in late November, demanded certain rights. Like I told you, the lawyers in a in a in a in a, uh, in a common law court, huh? you will send a civil judge, a, ci a judge trained of the civil system of the civil law system, yeah. to come and sit in a common law court. That was where the lawyers came out and said, "No, please, there are certain things you you cannot bring a, a, a civil law judge into a common law court. Please, we draw these uh, judges." They said we cannot be in a country. We we don't have a, 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 a common law bench in the Supreme Court. Okay. No, please, we need that. So the the, the lawyers made certain uh, demands to the government. Now the teachers took in. We you cannot send a, an English a French teacher to come and teach English students. How how, how 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 can you imagine that? Somebody studies biology in French. You send that person to come and teach biology to English students in French. So there were so many things that they do. Now you, you, you create a small an English university, you go there, 80% of the students there are from the Francophone sections. So they were they, they, monop they were they were monopolizing every Anglophone uh, educational structure. Okay. They infiltrated everywhere you have the Francophones. We the Anglophones, the, the English speaking people don't even have space in their own house. So the, these teachers, they came, they came out, they joined with the, uh, the lawyers, they called the government of La Republic to make certain amendments and told them that the bottom line is, please, we have to go back to the federal system. Okay. Now, they formed what we called the consortium, which was uh, an organization of civil uh, uh, society organizations. 
that came together. We had the, the trade uh, union, the trade uh, workers trade union. We had teachers trade union. We had the lawyers trade union. They all formed the consortium, and now they made this demand to the government and said, "Please, we need these things to be taken care of." But it was rather unfortunate that early in January 2017, this uh, the consortium was banned and her leaders were arrested. Leaders whom the government had been struggling to negotiate with, they were arrested. Uh, and some escaped to Nigeria, other out of the country, I think uh, Barista Boga, were escaped to uh, America. Tassan Wilfred ran to Nigeria. And from there, uh, it was a topsy-turvy issue. Wow. So, in this, that, that, that was when the killings in Cameroon uh, started. It started on the, on the 21st of November, I remember. The first ghost town was called by this trade union, okay. by the consortium. They told the government, since you are not ready to meet the needs, the demands of the people of the former British Southern Cameroons, now we will see who controls. There will be no school, nobody will go out. On Monday, the 21st of November, everybody will be locked. There will be total shutdown of the former British Southern Cameroons. There will be a total shutdown. I mean, total shutdown, and that is how it happened till today. And every Monday till this day, from the 21st of November till this day that I'm talking, every Monday is ghost town to show the government of the Republic how resolved we are. Now, on this that same Monday, we had one guy, Mancho Bilisi, a journalist. In one of the Atina Bakwa FM radio station, he carried a coffin, put on his car, drove that coffin to the street, and made certain demands that the roads are bad in Bamenda. He made his own demands that the roads are bad, this, that, that. He spoke so many things. Let me tell you, the government, instead of calming this thing with dialogue, there was a full fledged repression from the government. That is when the shooting, the killing started in La Republic, in, in Amazonia by the military of Mr. Pobia till this day that I'm talking. Wow. And this it has evolved, which if I'm giving the time, I will explain the evolution from the consortium, how it works until today. We are working with an interim government. Wow. Um, we don't really have time for too much of those uh, the total revolution, but we just want to know a few reasons why Amazonia has the Amazon have decided to be on their own. And my next question to you, sir, is how are the Amazonians treated in Europe today? Basically, in the entire Europe. Yeah, uh, in some countries they have recognized this, that we have a crisis back home. Okay. Some countries don't have not yet recognized. But I believe that the European Union as a whole has recognized that there's a problem between the Republic and the Amazonia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and they, they have assigned, I think, the Swiss government uh, to mediate, because as I'm talking, from the consortium, when the consortium was banned in January, uh, yeah, in January the consortium was banned, some of our leaders fled to Nigeria, Batasan, and from there they formed the Discacouf, from the Discacouf they formed the governing council, from the governing council, they formed the interim government. And on the 1st of October 2017, uh, His Excellency Sisebo Julius Ayutabi yeah. declared the restoration of the independence of the former British Southern Cameroons, wow. now the Federal Republic of Amazonia. Wow. So, um, we heard that a lot, of, a lot of people ran to Cameroon and ran to Nigeria, I'm sorry, a lot of people from Ambassador ran to, uh, to Nigeria in this time of this strong crisis. So, can you tell us more about it? We have almost one. I myself am a registered refugee under the United Nations High Commission for Refugee in Nigeria. In Nigeria? Yes, I have my refugee card. I am a registered refugee. Wow. With a three years uh, protection card. Yeah. I have my card. Three years. Wow. 2017 to 2021. Wow. Yeah. We have over one more than now. It, will, it used to be one hundred and sixty thousand, but I think it has swollen. We have more than one hundred and sixty thousand refugees in Nigeria. Okay. We have more than half a million internally displaced. Okay. We have more than half a million. We have I can the, the countless number of those two hundred and more than two hundred and fifty villages have been burned down 
by the military of Obia. Okay, I will have these people living in the bushes, in the forest. Wow. So, yeah. So by the by 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 this, you have protection by the Nigerian government. Yeah. How are you protected? Were you really protected, or how were you protected by the Nigerian government when you were given this uh, document of protection that you are a resident of Nigeria now? Yeah. When I was given this document, uh, I had a, I had a, I had a program in Italy. So the first issue that I had with the government of La Republic, uh, there was some intervention, and I came back into the country and I traveled. But now, along the line, something happened. On the 5th of January 2018, could you imagine that refugees, our leaders who were in Nigeria, were abducted in Nigeria? Your leaders, yes, by the military of La Republic, they came into Nigeria, adopted refugees, people whom I registered, who were granted refugee status like myself. The Nigerian government allowed the Cameroon government to come into Nigeria, arrest them, adopt them, and carry them back into Cameroon. Can you imagine that? Wow. This is a very touching story and we had a lot of time to still discuss this. And Mr. Paul, there is one question, this is my last question, and this question is very important. Um, we have seen a lot of Ambazonians are in the Western world today, out of Ambazonia or out of Cameroon, fighting for the freedom and the restore independence of Ambazonia. How do you guys intend to get this when you are fighting from the Western world? Now, we are not only fighting from the Western world. Now, on the ground in La Republic, in, uh, in Amazonia, sorry, we have what we call the restoration forces. Because of the brutality of the government, uh, of the military of Mr. Paul Bia, I mean, they have burned down 216 villages. So we had to set up, each village had to set up a defense unit to counter this military, when they are coming, we have the right to defend ourselves. If they have burned down 216 villages, it means they can burn more. So, those in the diaspora, they now have to send money to prepare the restoration forces to defend motherland. Okay. So, this, let us, I'm talking, it's, 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 it's a full-scale war on the ground between the restoration forces and the La Republic military. And while we are here putting pressure on the government of the international community, we are out. This is what we are doing. Wow. So it's a, it's, a, it's a war on two fronts, both on the ground and in the diaspora. That is uh, a very interesting one. Uh, I would say, how do, how do we intend to all this problem to be solved? How do we, how do the government have to come in for this problem to be solved? Or the international scene? Like I was telling you, just in a quote, in a short quote. Yeah. The American government early, early this year suspended all her military uh, assistance to La Republic because of gross human rights violation. Mm -hmm. Last week, the, the German government have also suspended all her military aid to La Republic. So we say as this thing uh, on the 11th or on the 18th of May, it was discussed at the United Nations Security Council. So with all this pressure that we are putting, we hope that the international community will come to realize because now at the moment there is a, a negotiation going on. There's a pre, there's a talk, mediation talk going on in Switzerland, uh, in, engaged by the, the European Union and backed by Canada. Mm. So we just hope that we are going to continue putting pressure, we are calling on the German government. Please do not only we suspend your military aid, but please make a statement. Hit hard on this government. Hit hard on this government. And treat the refugees that are here from these places, from uh, Ambazonia, treat them like people from a crisis country. Because, my brother, we are not treated like people from a crisis country. Wow. Yes. Um, we had a lot of who loaded package from Mr. Paul Lina. And today, from JCK TV, this is the first segment. It is so difficult for us to say goodbye at this time, but. It is something we have to do. I am unique, Obas, from JCK TV. And from this station, every weekend, we'll be bringing to you the fat segment from different 
perspective of views, cultures, and different people from different ethnic groups. Today, we talked about the Ambazonia, which is from the from Africa. So, behind the camera is the man, the director, Jack the director. I want to say a very big thank you to you. Please keep subscribing to our channel on YouTube, Facebook, and to every social media platform. I am unique, Obas. Thank you for staying tuned. Goodbye.